Howdy y'all, Buzzy Biker here in Woodbine, Iowa at this old train station. Look at this stuff here. Really a neat historical town. We're on the uh, Royal Enfield Scrambler 650, a Baxter cycle build. Look at this hot rod. Uh, we're gonna go hit some gravel with this pretty quick. Another crop duster. We're gonna go hit some gravel with this pretty quick, but I thought I'd run over real quick uh, just what it looks like and what they've added to it. And I love the way they've made it look. You know, it's got the real Scrambler's look to it. What is a real Scrambler? Uh, back in the day, a real scrambler was a street bike that was uh, probably affordable. They put a high pipe on it. They put a bash guard on it. They might have jacked up the suspension. And they certainly put big tires on it, or, you know, better dirt-oriented tires, on-off tires. And this is all of that. Uh, you can buy modern scramblers. A lot of them are heavier, much heavier than this. And they are uh, expensive. And I would not take, they're so beautiful, I wouldn't take them on gravel. This is a very beautiful bike, but it's much more affordable. What have they done to this one? Well, they put these Pirelli Scorpion tires on there. Just gorgeous tires, great feel. Uh, jumping up here, they put this uh, MK Design Shorty Fender on, these boots. MK Design uh, headlight cover, isn't that neat? I like it. They put the bash guard on the bottom, of course. I think that's an RE Royal Enfield model. They put this amazing pipe on here, and uh, the sound is just fabulous on that pipe. Uh, everywhere I go, uh, first thing people say to me is, wow, that thing sounds amazing. And of course, I think it looks really good. I think they've done really well with the styling on this. That is a Dustland Moto shotgun exhaust, I think they call it. Look at that shotgun. Kind of pretty, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. Uh, jumping up here, they put this Bonvant seat. Now this seat kind of has a hat trick, and by the way, all of this stuff is available at BaxterCycle.com. This thing has a little hat trick in that it has a little add-on seat that you can put on the back for passenger. It clips on, snaps in place, and then if your uh, passenger doesn't mind the pipes right there, yeah, buddy, you got a passenger. Uh, right now I got this little bag on here. There's a little metal rack there. If I have a picture of that, I'll put it up right now. I jump them back here. They put this nifty, old-fashioned uh, looking. Look at that, isn't that neat? Tail light, brake light, whatever. Uh, they've got this Pico blinkers. I think these are MK design, by the way. These little Pico blinkers, which I just love. I gotta show you those, hang on. Uh, check it out. And they do stand out. I had a friend of mine follow me, and he said they're just bright as can be. And then they've shortened the fender. They got this little shorty fender on the back end. Uh, running up here to the tank, they got these, uh, Motone knee pads, skin shift, belt, tank belt. They put this amazing decal on here. They did a really good job on that, I think. Up here, we've got uh, time warp or time machine grips. You know, isn't that neat? And then they've got this, uh, they put some wider bars on here, some bar risers. I think those are Hitchcock bar risers. And then this uh, Royal Enfield, I guess you call it a bash guard. What do you think of that? <laughs> Gorgeous, huh? And then to tie it all off, make it really uh, scrambler-esque, a single mirror on one side, great big old mirror. I like it, I like it. What would I do to this if it were mine? I'd ride the snot out of it and have a bunch of fun on it, and that's what I've been doing the last couple of days. Uh, several hundred miles on it so far. I've gotten about uh, 53, 54 miles a gallon at the worst. Isn't that amazing? But you know what? I'm gonna hop on that thing. We're gonna do a bunch of gravel and then uh, I'll turn the camera on, we'll talk some more. Wahoo! We have made our way to the beautiful Lust Hills of Western Iowa. Located in the very west edge of Iowa, right before the Missouri River. They run north and south for about 200 miles. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this stuff. This is about as hilly as it gets in the western side of Iowa. All of these hills are the result of dust blowing in off the Missouri River Valley from the age of glaciers. So let's talk about this motorcycle. This is a 648cc, 47 horsepower, 39 foot-pounds of torque. That's about uh, 53 newton meters. Six-speed transmission, an absolutely beautiful six-speed transmission. I'm really, I've loved for a long time and I've really learned to love now. It's a single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, parallel twin, air-cooled, oil-cooled engine. And it's a whole bunch of fun to run. The transmission and the engine work incredibly well together. They're just almost a symbiotic, just a perfection, just perfect thing. The bike itself has a 55.1 inch 
wheelbase that's about uh, 1400 millimeters about 170 millimeters of ground clearance at 6.7 inches 18 inch tires front and rear 320 millimeter disc brake on the front with a dual piston vibrate caliper and on the rear it's got a single 240 millimeter disc with a single piston bribery. The front suspension, the tubes are 41 millimeter. The front has about uh, 4.3 inches of travel. That's about 109 millimeters. The rear has about three and a half inches of travel. It's twin shock on the rear. That's uh, so three and a half inches of travel. That's about 89 millimeters of uh, travel. I've driven a couple dozen of these already. And every time I ride one, I just fall in love with it. And on pavement like this, it's, it's just phenomenal handling. The handling is to die for. I just love it. And hey, listen to that pipe. <laughs> now, let's see what we do on gravel, huh? There's some of that, uh, there's some of that Lust Hill soil I was talking about. On our right is the Missouri River Valley, and over that way is the Missouri River. On our left are these hills. So the Missouri River back in the days, the glacier would go 20 miles wide, in the winter it would dry up and the dust that had settled in the river bay and the river flats would blow up onto this side of the hill and make these hills onto this side of the river and make these hills oh this thing is a hoot to run it's an interesting motorcycle i would call it a real scrambler if you want a scrambler to run and have fun on and you know take down roads like this and enjoy riding in this kind of thing this is an ideal bike for that situation this bike weighs in stock form it would weigh let me think about this 470 pounds which is about 213 kilograms this bike has a uh, much lighter exhaust system and some other changes so it should be lighter you know i would guess this is pushing and i'm just guessing 440 pounds maybe that's with a full deck of fuel by the way in uh, stock form also this has a 31.7 inch seat height look at these beautiful hills that's about uh, 805 millimeters, by the way. Stability on this motorcycle, the primary stability is excellent. It just, it'll go straight as an arrow. Secondary stability, it feels a little tweaky, uh, but that's okay. That's one of the reasons it moves left and right and, you know, does all these things so easily and so well. You know, it just cuts through this stuff so, I love it. I just love it. Handling is superb. It is something you do have to pay attention to, but look at this, we're running down the gravel ridges here where the gravel is piled up in the center. Absolutely no troubles at all. Oh, look at that, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. That transmission is really something to dance on, I just love it. And that pipe just eggs you on big time. Let's talk about the seating position. They've got this Bonbon seat on here, which is an incredibly nice seat. It has a lot of slide forward, slide backwards room works incredibly well I really like it it's comfortable it's got good padding it gets wider as it goes back and it also has that built-in luggage rack on the back I put this uh, I'm reaching back to make it still there I put this bag on the back there to hold my stuff it works beautifully from my hips to my knees are just about level maybe a little down towards my knees and it feels like my heels are probably behind my knees a little ways I am leaning forward I am reaching to the bars a little bit uh, they did put uh, Hitchcock bar risers on here. By the way, all this, all these accessories are available at Back and Cycle. Order it today, they'll ship it out tomorrow. But uh, the bars, so the bars are really in a good spot. They also put wider bars on here. And when you get on this kind of road, look at that view, isn't that amazing? When you get on this kind of road, the wider bars really come into play. You really appreciate them at that point. Hey, looks like we got a stop sign coming. Boy, it sounds good. The sound just really puts it to you, makes you want to go. Let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, I think I know where we're at. The spot is up that way. The spot is a local uh, scenic area. Wow, this thing has just got torque. It's got the torque right where you need it. I like it. What a fun road to run. This transmission just loves to be danced on. It's a beautiful thing. The bike is handling superbly. It just, it does so well. I mean, oh, I love it. I just love it. 
Like I said, its primary stability is excellent. So we're going right down a gravel ridge right there, and the bike <laughs> just, they did it just so well. <laughs> it fought a little bit. Uh, that's part of that secondary stability I was talking about where it gets a little tweaky, but uh, it still stays on its wheels very nicely. We're doing it again right there. Those Scorpion tires, those pearly Scorpion tires are just the perfect thing for this. I love it. I love it. Good job, Baxter Cycle. So the handling of this motorcycle, uh, let's talk about uh, in the garage and in uh, the parking lot. It's, it's easy. This thing is low center of gravity, lightweight, pushes around easy enough. Driving around the parking lot, a snap. Great handling. In town, it's a breeze. I love it. It's the kind of thing. It's almost as good as my classic in that sense. That short wheelbase and lightweight and low center of gravity, it all works together to just make this thing so, so nice. Uh, picking up speed, oh, 35 to 90. This thing is a scream dream in those speeds. I've been uh, hammering it all over at those speeds and just having a ball on it. Hey, look, a little washout. And uh, on pavement, it's, it's just, it hangs under the road so well. What does that say? Harris County, we're in Harrison County. This thing is quite the machine. Is this a real scrambler? You better believe it is. This has got the right amount of weight, the right amount of power, the right gearing, the right handling. It does everything so well for this kind of riding. I was debating with myself earlier. Oh, there's a deer up there. Can you all see that on the right? There he goes, now he's in the road. If there's one, there may be more. I got put in the hospital for 10 days last year because of a deer <laughs> on a motorcycle. I did not hit the deer, but uh, wow! So back to running this road on pavement. I did a bunch of ridge roads, curvy, twisty, all kinds of fun pavement, and this bike just tore it up. You know, here again, it's got the great torque, the great, uh, you know, the punch is always right where you want it. You know, it's just, it's always there. Hey, end of the road. Well, I wonder where we're at now. Uh, a little bit of okay I know where we're at right that's Murray Hill right there we were up there the I was up there a week or so ago we're gonna go this way and find some more gravel so back to pavement I found this bike to handle on pavement superbly with these scorpion tires I've ridden the stock interceptors and I know how well they do they are perfect especially with the road tires this is a little taller maybe with its more aggressive tires hey look some Volkswagens Ha! Huh. But it handled very well on the pavement. Again, it was a little squirrelier. And I think, again, that was partly because of the tires. Okay, I wonder where we're at. Hey, you know what? Let's cut back this way. This looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? 136. I don't know where we're at. Look at that dirt. Isn't that something? Oh, here, right here. Little Sioux Unit, Lus Hill State Forest, yes. <laughs> Let's wake up the squirrels and rabbits, right? Look at that stuff. Isn't that amazing? Let's slow down and take a good look at it. Look at that. That is all, that's all soil. That all blew in. Amazing, isn't it? I'd love to take that but like I said we've been raining so what do I think about the exhaust that's a big part of this motorcycle uh, people that I've talked to tell me it sounds good that's one of the first things people say when I pull up wow that thing really sounds good you know and it does sound good on here and it does egg you on it's got it's got the right right thing you know the right it's got it whatever that it thing is you know <laughs> oh this is like riding on marbles right here look at those big chunks of gravel I think it's a little loud for me but I think if you want a scrambler, it's, it's a perfectly fine thing. You know, if you had one of the, if you had this bike in your garage for your uh, fun day like this, have at it. It's a blast. You can always wear earplugs, right? <laughs> what a hoot! This thing's a hoot. Uh, as far as the looks of the pipe goes, uh, that there again, it's a very attractive pipe. Uh, okay, my friends, I'm not sure what else I can share with you all about this except to say.
that this is a true scrambler. And if I were to buy a new scrambler today, it'd be this particular bike right here, or one like it. A Royal Enfield 650 tear up the dirt type scrambler. Now, before I let you go, I'm gonna let you in a little secret. We got a couple more of these in the works. <laughs> and I'm gonna to try to get a ride on those. Well, at least take a short ride on them. If y'all are interested in something like this, a new used Royal Enfield, new used Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need accessories, parts, gear, wear, anything like that, boots, backpacks, here's us over to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, or check out BaxterCycle.com. Order today, ship tomorrow. Those guys are great. And I really appreciate them letting us this hot rod motorcycle. Now, if you got a hot rod bike of your own, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!